What's going on guys and for the win here we are back with our franchise mode as the Seattle Seaman after the draft here getting into free agency but before we do all that we have several winners to win to read off from last year's point scoring contest I'm pretty sure everyone guessed the same two winners the goalies keep being so weird every year <laughs> they're not giving us any help here no clean sweeps yet for this series but here we go so first winner Trenton Kramer guessing Ovi for the team league Klingberg for the lead league going for Carter Hart there but not quite next up is uh, Bryke Barkoskis with uh, Ovi and Klingberg also going for Hart but I don't think uh, Hart's won it yet but people still gambling on him uh, next up is Matthew Bangert with uh, Ovi Klingberg, and he went for Anderson, and unfortunately Anderson did not have a repeat performance of the year before. Uh, next up is Numzy88 with Ovi Klingberg, also betting on Carter Hart for the goaltending. Next is Clouds Chaser from the streams, uh, Ovi and Klingberg as well, Hart too. And then next up is uh, Casey Koltoff. Yeah, Koltoff, okay. And uh, Ovi Klingberg, guessing for Bishop, which ain't bad because Dallas has been dominating. All right, and last but not least is Buddy D with Ovi Klingberg and Hart, again because third time's a charm, right? In this case, not quite, but maybe fourth time's a charm. Who knows? Who knows? All right, so there we have it. And we are ready to get going here. Now, free agency. Again, we're looking for defensemen because defensemen... Something that we need, but not able to find that. So maybe, maybe we'll wait. I, I know waiting's a little crazy, but I, I, I think I might want to wait and scout some dudes out um, with my NHL scouts and then maybe try to make a trade. Because as of right now, we, we're not near the cap. We're going to be next year. Next year is going to be tough, but uh, this year we're okay. But yeah, when it comes to defensemen, I mean, we need Shanahan to get a good jump. I need him to at least get up to, like, a solid top four. I'll, I'll be happy with that. Fine, if he's not going to be, like, a top two, that's okay. What was he, a fourth? He's a fifth overall pick. You know, this, he's not, yeah, it's high up there. He should, but he should, we should be able to get him to at least a solid top four. If he could become top two, that's even better. He might, he'll keep filling in at top two. But, uh, yeah, we need Svoboda to maybe make, a, make it into the league this year. I don't know if he'll get a big enough jump, but he's for sure an NHLer by next year. Um, Dermot, he, I think we're going to have to have him fill in unless we put him in as part of the trade, but yeah, I think we're going to have to have him fill in in that top four again. And Flurry, top six as well. We don't have a righty top six guy. We don't have to have one. I would prefer to have one. Johannesson, I don't think is going to be that guy. I think we need to sign a top six righty for NHL. And then trade-wise, we need to look for some kind of guy for that top four, I think. And not long, well, kind of long-term. Yeah, kind of do need a long-term right-handed defenseman because, what, Axelson? He was, yeah, he's a righty, but he was already up there. Like, we really don't have any right-handed great defenseman, defensive prospects. Nike, like, not at all. <laughs> I want that would be great to grab that one dude, but yeah, I think so. That should be kind of a goal here, is to grab. We need a guy who's going to be a top four for the right right hand side, maybe even and maybe a guy for the top two in the left hand side. But I'm not giving up on Shanahan quite yet. We'll see what he can do. But that's kind of what we're looking for here. So trade might be the best way to get that because free agency really didn't have that. We could pick someone up kind of for now, but I don't I don't necessarily want to spend that money. I think we could find someone with a trade. Is, is what I'm trying to say. A solid top four guy for that right-hand side. Then holding on to Dermot won't be too bad. Or we could play him in the top six and trade away Flurry. We can kind of be banking on that. We have a one-year contract for Dermot. He should... How does he fit into our... Oh, it doesn't show me? It should show me somewhere. Oh, it doesn't at all. It has no data to display. All right. Well, I think he's done okay in the top six before. <laughs> Famous last words? I don't know. 82 just isn't good enough. I could play him in the top six this year if we trade Flurry. Then, of course, we'll need to replace Flurry in some way, which is hard to do because he's pretty damn solid for that top six. Isn't he? What did he do last year? He was Oh, he was a minus four last year, so it wasn't great last year. The year before, he was good. 
He's not that solid. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't mind giving away Flair. We we're trying. We we're trying to mold him into this top six guy. But yeah, maybe that's not the case. Okay, so let's 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 maybe. Now there's no guarantee we can make a trade, but we might as well improve. If if we have to play this guy on the left hand side, we'll have to play him on the left hand side. I guess that's kind of what we're going for. So let's try to pick up a defenseman. He's not going to be for super long term, but kind of mid term here. Uh, Butcher or Niku? A lot of teams interested in Butcher, but we've got to put. We kind of have to have put ourselves in the in the forefront here. Now this guy we know for a fact is 84, and top four. Why is he? Is he built by stat growth or something? Don't, he says he only fit into the third pairing. Oh, I think I said that with both of them though. Why? I'm a little worried that this is BSing me, you know? I'm a little worried that if I grab him, he might like decline or something like that. I know Butcher is at least going to be like around 84. I, 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 I know that he's at least that. I don't know much about Nico. I, I, I kind of feel like he may be built with stat growth. I don't know. I could be wrong. But... I don't know that much about him, but I do know these. All right, well, less teams. Are, let's see what he would want for like two years. You know, what? I could get, I can get him like six mil for two years, probably. Eh, maybe a bit higher, six and a half, for two years. And then from there we could reassess. He is younger. That is the plus side of him. We could reassess for that after two years, or go for Butcher, who's a couple years older. But more teams are interested in him. So I think Niku, and we know he's an 84 Butcher. I think it's only going to be an 84, so we're really kind of getting maybe an 85, but I don't think so. He would be, he would definitely want more money if that was the case. I think Niku's a safer bet to go. Jake Gardner should be around 84 as well, but he's also 32. Petri, yeah, we know what he brings to the table. So let's go for Niku here. I'll go two years and I'll give him like six and a half. This should still be okay. We're going to, a lot of money's coming off the books next year. So we're going to do this six and a half for two years for Niku. This will be kind of a prove me contract for him. We'll see what, if, if he is actually a solid top four. And then, you know, we'll have him kind of locked in there. Yeah, he's only 84, but it's doable for now. That's what I'm saying. Two-year contract, it gives us gives us kind of a, an idea of what he's going to bring to the table. Now, before we go too much further, I don't want to forget this, so I'm going to do, go ahead and do it now. We're going to go to contracts here, and uh, someone pointed this out in the comments section. You want you want to tr try to lock them in now before Bootsayev grows even more. I completely agree. I want to lock him into eight years immediately. He's a guy you give eight years to. Now, I only want six, but we'll bump him up. That's a bit pricey there for a defenseman, but this guy, actually not really, considering. Oops, that's wrong. Uh, 375, yeah, 375. We should be able to get, yeah, we can get him for under 10 for eight years, which is really good for what this guy is going to bring to the table. Yep. Get him right here for eight years. That's pretty damn good. The cap space is almost at 100 mil, so this isn't even, this is barely 10% of our, of our uh, well, it's a little over 10% of our team cap right here, which again, really not that bad for what, for a franchise right-handed defenseman. So let's go ahead and sign him. Currently, what? Did he just say he's currently considering his options? Bitch, you have no options. Sign with me or get tendered. Don't pull a Marner. All right, Holtz, I think we should also sign. Is this the guy I go long term with? Maybe. Maybe line him up with Medvinov so it'll be seven years for him because Medvinov. Yeah, yeah, because Medvinov's in the first year of his eight year. Then seven years would line him up right there. Let's see what Holtz wants. That's a really good contract. And I like what Holtz brings to the table. I will invest in him long term. This is a really good contract. Oops, not by 85. God damn it, I always do that. 0.85, there we are. Yeah, we can get him for 5.7 something. Yeah, that's real good. Right there, 5.725 for seven years. That lines him up with Medvinov. Yeah, that's a real good contract right there for Holtz. He should still grow. I don't foresee that guy capping out. And if he does cap out, he's still a second liner. So there you go. That's a great contract for a second liner. If he becomes a first liner, that's a steal. Sherry does not want an extension. That kind of sucks. I was kind of hoping to maybe secure him to an extension. Uh, Verana, I don't know yet. Coral Yuki, yes. Verana, I could get, man. He's kind of within that age bracket. But let's also, I'm not going to give him a, yeah, okay. That's. I was actually going to, I was thinking about three years. This is perfect. He needs a, uh, not a bridge deal exactly, but he needs a prove me, you know, prove prove it to me deal. 
So four by three deal for him. Yep. And uh, Shanahan, I will give an extension to as well. Again, this will also be approved. <laughs> prove me something deal. Is that the same exact price that he's asking for? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, and I could got him for right here. Whoops. Oh, well. Yeah, I'll give Shanahan a three-year deal, too. Although I do plan to keep him regardless. That's that's too risky, I think. Well, let's see what that price is. If I, if I extend him for eight years. It's mid-fives. It's mid fives. Seven years is, if we go down to seven, that's a pretty big drop off. Well, no, it goes up about the same amount. Yeah, for each year. Huh. Either three years at that price or hop up to seven years or eight. It's mid fives for eight. Now, it pretty much is, we're banking on him becoming at least a top four. It's risky. Very risky. If he doesn't grow, it's a bad contract. Real bad contract if he doesn't grow. I'm going to play it safe. Yeah, I think I'm going to play it safe and give him the three-year kind of prove it to me contract. If he gets a big jump now, I'll hate myself. But ah, the way he's been growing, I don't trust it. So, yeah, let's let's give him the three-year deal. Prove himself to us. Voloshenko still got a couple more. Dermot, we just obviously signed, so we can't do him. Kraus, I think that's all everyone we need to do. Now, Comrie does want an extension, but if I can get him for real cheap, I might do it, but I don't think I'll be able to. Yeah, no way. He wants a lot of money. So he's probably done. Unless we find a way to trade Anderson at the draft if he looks like he's continuing to decline, which I think he will. Maybe we could trade him at the draft. But we're still kind of question mark when it comes to goaltenders. I was hoping Rensfeldt would be ready. He might be ready. He needs a big jump. He need, we need to get him a big jump. Alright, well. What else do we need here? I think we had enough for forwards. I'm pretty sure we have enough. And don't even, I think even Kraus was going to be his depth again. We signed uh, Kurali, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, but Martin is 12, 13. Oh, yeah, we're fine. We got Krause's depth again by the looks of it, or Coralia's depth. Yeah, so we're good on the forward end of things. Plenty. And do we need a depth defenseman? Because we're signing what's-his-name. That's four, five. Oh, yeah, we need a top six guy and maybe a depth, unless I use Snuggerud or Johansson as depth. There's six defense in. Malmstrom can be depth. Oh, eight. Yeah, actually, you know, I think I'll use depth internally. Either Johansson or Siegenthaler. Maybe Sabota will be ready. He won't be ready for depth. I, I, I want to get Sabota at least one year in the AHL, I think. So it'll be one of these three guys to be depth for us. Johansson. Probably Snuggerud to be depth. Yeah, because he's already 27. All right, so we just need a right-handed top six guy still. Yep, that's it. Okay, we'll do that. And we should be fine from there. Oh, no, we still have Flurry, But, yeah, we're playing on the trade, and that's right. If we could find a good trade. So Flurry could be depth for the time being. Yeah, that's the only problem. I would love to trade him right now, but I don't know if we'll have enough info on people. Can I go all just right-handers? No. <laughs> oh, that'd be so nice. TVR, isn't he a right-hander? Yes, he is. I think he's pretty good. He doesn't want that much money either. He is very solid. Defensive defenseman. All defensive pairings. All penalty kill lines. That's real good for us. Not too bad of a price either. Now, if I only get him one year, doesn't even jump up that much. A lot of teams are interested in him. So we got it. We got to convince him to come here for three mil. He should accept, although it is only one year. Maybe two, but he might decline. No, he's already got seventh deep potential. He, so he is technically already declining one year. Yeah, one year for you. But I want him, so one by three. Hopefully that gets him. I don't know if it will. If not, well, it's only top six. There should be plenty of guys we could pick up. Now, now I know someone is saying to go for Taves. I don't think that's a great idea. We already have Larkin back for a year. We already got our other center working up. We have Medvinov. 
Medvedev is going to likely play wing this year, but in the long term, he should be a center. I think. <laughs> and we'll see how things work out. All right. Let's, uh, yeah, I've already hired coaches and uh, scouts. Let's advance a couple days here. See if we grab everyone. All right, good. New AHL dudes. Got a scout. Oh, no, the, other, the other scout. I did get two or three. I think just two. It wasn't, it wasn't that strong. Yep, and we got him. So they're happy to accept it there, but when you try to extend them, they ain't happy to accept it. Cool. And did people accept their extensions? All right. Oh, yeah, Niku. All right, so we did get Niku. Sweet. We got, and also got TBR. All right, Shanahan accepted the ex extension. Korolyuk as well. Still a couple more we're waiting on. Boots I have. Uh, trade alert. Second, two seconds um, to Detroit, and Minnesota gets Josh Anderson in a sixth. Not too bad. We got Boots I have extended. Holtz extended. All right, and I think that was it, right? Looks like it. Another trade. Neuter Rider to New Jersey for Tracy and Fitzpatrick. Interesting. All right, so there we have it. Now that's pretty much it. That is it. Yeah, that is it. All right, so we're going to advance up here. We're going to get the line stay careful, set my scouts out, and then we could get to some Simmons. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so these are the tentative lines for this year. We're going with the Medvinov, Larkin, and Verana. Now we could still always go with that. Ovechkin thing right there. That's a quick quick change, but I want it. You know, we're trying to hand it over to the younger guys here And uh, that's kind of my idea there Medvinov Eventually I want him to center this line But uh, we'll see the only unfortunate thing is Yeah, Medvinov's biases. Eh, whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, Verona matches every single thing in that line. Volshenko doesn't. I'm just seeing. Anyway, so yeah, we're gonna go with that. Uh, second line: Ovechkin, Volshenko, Sherry. Uh, trying to get Volshenko because Volshenko can both score and put the puck in. Sherry's a pure playmaker. Ovechkin's a pure sniper. Hoping to get really good production out of that line. Um, third line: Korolyuk, Lowry, and Holtz. Poor Holtz, man. This guy's being uh, kind of put onto this line. But, yeah, I want to hold on to Shiri because of Ovechkin, I think. I'm hoping Shiri at some point this year will want an extension. Because as of right now, he doesn't. Man, Shiri really fits into that second line, too. Ovi, oh, Ovi actually fits into that line better. Yeah, unfortunately, Medvinov doesn't really like our top two line strategies there. Verona loves it. And Larkin likes it a lot. How about what, what Voloshenko? Yeah, he likes it a decent chunk. Not like a huge amount. Anyway, um, so that's our third line. Corrali, Fox, and Martin. Holtz will definitely be a top six guy for sure next year. That's pretty much a guarantee. Martin might not even be here. I don't know. We'll see. I'll give him another chance to grow here. All right, defensively, Shanahan, Butsayev, Niku, Dermot. Going to go have to go a little awkward there. And then Fleury, Van Riemsdyk. This is uh, temporary because we're hoping to find a trade, move Dermot down, maybe either use Flurry in that trade, or use him as a depth guy again for this year. And yeah, as of right now, our depth guys are Snuggerud and Goodrow. Snuggerud could honestly be our depth guy for this year, and it wouldn't be too bad. And he who fits in... Oh, he doesn't tell me. Damn. Well, we don't know. But he's our depth guy currently. It's not amazing, but yeah, I already ha I have my scouts, um, all my scouts looking for defensemen in their entire division for like the first four weeks. So, it should give us enough. We should have enough here. All right, let's check out power plays here. Ovi, Larkin, Shiri, Medvinov, Butsayev. Got Medvinov on the point here. Don't know how that'll work out, but maybe he'll shoot a good amount from back there. I could do Shiri on the point, but we'll try Medvinov back there on the point. Then Holtz, Voloshenko, Verana. With Niku and Martin on the point because Martin's got that high awareness and I'm trying I'm still trying to not give up on him But he might be the big piece we use to grab a right-handed defenseman, although we might not need all his value Hopefully he grows. I'd love to see him grow still. I'd really liked him to get at least I know he was a third round pick, but man if you could at least get to like a solid third liner for me, that'd be great Yeah, I know he's elite. I meant 
but he was a third round pick. Uh, penalty kill still great. Lowry, Foxa, Bootsive, Shanahan, Corrali, Coraluk, Dermot, Van Riemsdyk. No Nico on here because this is how we get plus three chemistry. If I had Nico in there, we only get plus one. But this is really good. I really like that. Uh, three man plus one to each. Don't really have anything to complain about, man. How could you? All right, and for the four on fours here, Larkin, Ovechkin, Bootsav, Shanahan, Medvinov, Sherry, Niku, Dermot, kind of going with passer shooter, passer shooter type deal. Same here. Um, Verona, Voloshenko are kind of both hybrid ish, but Voloshenko was shooting pretty decently last year, right? Verona wasn't really. Yeah, he was kind of hybrid too, so two hybrids, I guess. He didn't do great for us, let's be honest, though. Maybe he will this year. He need, needs a full year under his belt. Same with the three on threes here. All right, extra attacker, Bootsav Medvinov, and there's a shootout lineup, and of course the goaltender is Anderson and Comrie. And for the a AHL, I'm going with Rensfeld and then Prosser in there, as I said. The interesting thing is the auto lines had Rensfeld above Dacord. Remember, Dacord was like a 75, so I'm thinking Rensfeld should be high 70s now, which is perfect. That's exactly what we needed out of him. So there you go. There are the lines, and... Since our captain is no longer with us, that was Perron, we have triple alternate going on. Medvinov is an alternate, Oveshkin's an alternate, because Ovi, and then Butsayev is an alternate. So I'm going to need you guys' help here. Who should become captain, and who will get that other A? Because Oveshkin obviously will most likely not be here next year. So keep an eye out for guys that you like, and guys that you think deserve a letter, and who you think will deserve the captaincy. So keep an eye on it because we want to hand it to a younger guy. Medvinov, Voloshenko, Bootsev, Shanahan, Korolyuk, Holtz, Martin. These guys are our future core. Well, maybe not Martin. But you know, you know what I'm talking about. All right. So now that you've seen the line, let your predictions fly for this year's point scoring contest. Do it now. Pause the video. Do it now. All right. <laughs> and we are ready to go. I already turned off goalie rotations. Yes. And yeah, we are good to go. Let me actually check on Shiri, because it, it can change throughout the year, and maybe it changed already. Yes, he wants, oh, beautiful, beautiful. Shiri wants an extension. I want to give him like a two-year extension. He wants three, I'm giving you two. Oh my god, that jumps up if I do that. I don't know if I want to give him three, though. That's a lot. Uh, I probably won't need him for all three years. But Verona also wants, I'll, I'll wait on Verona, but Shiri is someone who's fit in really, really well. That's a big-ass jump up. If I go down to two years, let's all right. Let's see pricing options here. But yeah, let's go to two years because that's what I'd love to give him. It's six point five seven five essentially, which is not too bad. Two years of that price though. What do we need for next year? Still says we have forty seven million. We have a lot of. See, yeah, we are taking a lot of salary off the books, especially Larkin. We're probably not gonna be able to get back Larkin. Yeah, I, I know. I know for a fact I really want Shiri back. So let's let's go for that. I think that's not a bad deal for two years, and this will pretty much guarantee that he won't decline on our watch. Well, not guarantee, but it should give us the best option for him not to decline. So yeah, let's get Shiri back for two years at that price. It ain't eight and a half mil like I'm paying him right now, so that's good. Saving some money with him. Verona, I'm not sure about, but just for funsies, what kind of extension would he want? Oh man, that'd be a really good deal if we got Verona. I'm not going to do it yet, but that might be something we go for. Yeah, we'll hold off on it for now. Lowry, do you want like a huge pay cut? Kinda. I do plan to hold on to Lowry. Maybe just a one year deal, but... Yeah, you know what? Let's actually... I want to extend Lowry right now, because that's a really good deal for what he brings to the table. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Wow. I can't believe I'm getting him for this low. Man, I'm even tempted to do two years at that price. Because this guy could be a third liner. Oh, hell yeah, dude. 2.25. Even if he's only a fourth liner, it's not a horrible deal. But he's a, he's a solid penalty killer. So, yeah, 2.25 for two years for a guy like Lowry, yes. Definitely. Do that now. All right. That'll be it. I'm still still not sure about the whole Comrie and Anderson situation and Rensfeld coming up. We'll have to get scouted before we make a decision on that. But let's get into the simming here. What we came to see. Get that team scouted after this first little bit of time. No major injuries, please. Lowry accepted. Sherry accepted. Beautiful. Uh, Troach. No. Why would I do that? Why, what? No, that's some bullshit. You want a top six guy and a first? You want to give me Trocheck back? I really don't need Trocheck. I don't know what. They're thinking. 
Why do I need another forward? My forward core is pretty damn stacked. Tough loss right there. Uh-oh. Losing in the preseason. It's not a good sign. <laughs> we want to get that scoring up there. It's not going too well right now, the scoring-wise, in the preseason. But all it depends on... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is how we do it in the regular season. Yeah, I already assigned my scouts. Come on, big money. Beat Toronto 7-4. to All right, so we scored here. Still still allowing a lot of goals. All right. Lost right there in the shootout. Let's see what the draft class has yet. Showing mockers. Not a whole lot. I'll probably just let them go for a bit, the auto scouts. But I want to hone in on uh, some of these dudes if I can. So let's do that. Yup. And you're already being scouted, so cool. Yeah, I'll be fine for now. We'll let them get a little bit more work done. There we go. Big win right there against Minnesota. Couple more wins, 4-0-1. Have yet to lose in regulation. Islanders are a bad team, so they'll probably... Oh yeah, poor Holtz. I'm so sorry, man. Uh Convincing. Come on, I gotta persuade him. You team player, bud? Yeah. Damn it. I don't want to demoralize him, but he's a young guy. He's gotta learn. He's 86 overall by the looks of it, so god damn it. Yeah. I, he only lost one morale. That's not that bad. It does suck. But the team's doing so well right now the way they're built. So it's like, how how can how can I change with the lineups? Look at how we're doing. He will get his ice time. Next year he will be a 100% top six guy. 100%. Wow. Yep, top of the division. Tied for top of the NHL. Looking good. 6-1-1. One, one. Um, I'm not going to go too much into the, the you know stats side of things, but we want to check out how the scouts came through. Yeah, so Holtz is a freaking 86. But moving him up there, does it actually hurts that second-line chemistry. Yeah, he needs to actually be like a first-liner for it to really... Coming to play, which could be possible next year. Vrana Voloshenko Shiri. Or Shiri up to that first line. Korolik's up to an 84 now. Sitley's only got three points. Holtz has got three goals. Yeah. Voloshenko looks good, though. Ten points for him. Eleven for Ovechkin. Shiri with a crap ton. First line's doing good, too. Yeah, it's like how do I how do I break up what's going on here? It's hard. Boots I have not a big point score. Him and Shanahan somehow minus man. Dermot is an eighty one. Yeah, so we really need to make that trade. Speaking of which, let's actually see how my scouting went for a defenseman in all the divisions. Let's actually see if my NHL scouts being all A's and stuff like that have put in work. You're goddamn right they have. There we go. Okay, that's looking good. Hey! Oh, he's in the AHL. <laughs> they didn't... Eh, Arizona's a bit weaker here. Oh, we got OEL scouted, but no one else. What the hell? Come on. There we go. There's McAvoy. Too bad Krug's a lefty. Okay, maybe they still need some more time here. Maybe I need to assign them again, because they're still kind of lacking here. Okie Haru, what are you? A righty. Not bad. Pretty solid. Where would you fit in? Only the third pairing. I don't like that. I want I want good chemistry back there. If we're gonna have guys who are low, yeah, damn, they didn't thought they would scout more. Falk is too old, I think. I mean, we need someone on that right hand side in the top four who could last for a long time. Because there's no guarantee that any of our prospects are gonna be that. God, if Bokefist wasn't that expensive, I would consider swooping him up. We have we got some good scouting. You know, Makar. He could be really good. I know he's being paid a lot, though, and it's three more years. If it wasn't three more years, I'd totally snag him up. There's also Bowen Byram here on the left side, however, which sucks. But Makar could be solid, man. Fit in on the top four defensive pairings. That's really good. All power play, all penalty kill is also really good. 
It's just the price, man. It's it's up there, but I think we could be okay if we wanted to go for Kale McCarr. All right, so let me actually make sure that we scout him. I'll, do, I'll say Kale McCarr for sure, get him scouted. Yeah, we still need to go, and I'll do it for everyone else. Just Yeah, because we're still missing a lot of info here. Yeah, we still really are missing info. Slavin is a lefty. Tang, no. Ekblad, not too good. Yeah, we're still missing a lot of information. I know Dumba's a lefty, but 29's pushing it. I want someone... All right, let me go back into that scouting thing, because this is important. We really need to find someone on that right side here. No, not... Dr okay, please say I went to assign scout. Yes, good. All right, NHL Central. Makar's in the Central, right? So, yeah, I want him actually scouted here. Too bad I can't do... Huh? Yeah, that's the team I want. So scout individual players, right? Or did it say scout individual teams? No, scout specific players. Why is it just giving me the team and then no option after that? Chicago, Colorado, right? Now, but there's not... What? It just says the team. Oh, okay, 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 good, good, good. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's confusing. <laughs> Because the other one actually gave you a bunch of options after it. I'll show you what I meant by that. Complete scouting on Kale McCarr here. Gerard, we already caught. Let's see what else. Anyone else I want to do for shits and giggles? Not really. That's kind of it. Yeah, pretty much just Kale McCarr there. Well, we really want him scouted, so we'll do that. Wait, did I already... Oh, I didn't actually confirm. Confirm? What is this? Oh, no. Oh my god. <laughs> did I actually confirm confirm or did I not? I rarely scout specific players. There we go. I don't think I did. No. Back. Complete. Select. Confirm. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Had to actually press start. There we are. Alright, so he's scouting Kale McCarr. Let's keep going. Group of players here. Complete. Entire division. Four weeks for defense. Another four weeks here. Another month. There we go. Atlantic, same thing. And four weeks for you. Because we basically have another month to do, so this will be perfect. Everything will line up just fine. We really want to get an idea. Of what's around. All right, so there we go. NHL scouts off again. AHL or CHL and uh, amateur scouts are doing their thing. Let's continue here, and we'll see if I'll be making a trade here at the tail end of this video, which we may in fact do. Yes, our team's doing good, but we still need to improve that. No, Santiago. No. Mr. Shanahan is injured. It's not for too long. It's only for like half the month. Niku will do that, but I'll fill in Snuggerud everywhere. Let's see if this will work. Will he get... Yeah, they'll get a plus one there. That should be fine. Get Niku the extra ice time, though. There we go. Nice win right there. Another nice win. We are really doing well here. Really doing well. Just just even getting Niku really helped us out. But imagine if we had another good defenseman on the right side. Oh, man. Woo! Killing it here in Seattle. Yeah, see? Yeah, they want... I'm, I'm not giving up Sugar Girl, man. You could really... I know Lowry's also really good, but I don't want to give up on this Sugar Girl guy yet. Especially for... A, dude, they want to give us Hamilton for a top six guy and a first. That's... I mean, I guess. But... No. Hamilton is not someone I really think is the answer because he's on the older side of things, right? Two years left on a good price, but he's 85, he's 30. You know, I want someone a bit younger. In a pinch, this guy would have been great. But, no. Not what I'm after here. Ooh, tough loss right there, finally. Finally lose, get shut out. And we got shut out twice in a row. Alright, I guess I need to clear my trade block again here. Trying to hold on to Comrie. Until we decide what to do with him. There we go. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Come on. 
All right, we got shut out twice in a row, guys. Time to answer back. Santiago is back in the lineup. Good for him. How did Snuggera do here in that depth roll? Six games played, got a goal, only took one penalty, was a plus three. Not bad, Cockburn. Not bad. And yeah, Santiago Shanahan did not grow, so that proved me contract was a good thing, and oh man, I'm kind of worrying that he won't grow anymore at all, which really sucks. <laughs> <sighs> Big answer with a huge win. Wow, 8-2. to two. And right back to the winning side of things. Yeah, we're doing really good here. Sami Nuku is back. Oh, wait. He wasn't even gone. Get out of here. That was fake. Good year for rookies. I don't think they've said anything other than that yet. 15-3-1, man. We are dominating here. Okay, and then we lose twice. As I said that. Come on, get a couple more wins here to end it. There you go. And Unamas, there we go. Okay, 17, 5, and 1, doing really good. Burnaby not doing too bad, 12, 9, and 1, not amazing. Not doing too bad. Now's a good time to check out Rensfeld. Shiri still leading in points, hilariously. Locker room chemistry at 77, leading the division. Second place in the NHL. Not bad. Not too bad at all. Shanahan's really kind of scaring me, though. I'm glad I didn't give him that eight year contract. Alright, let's see. Goals for four goals four per game, 2.74 goals against. That is amazing. Power play percent, 33, one out of three of our power plays we're scoring on. Penalty kill, 84%, best in the division. We are looking good. Two shorties, four. Outstanding. Well, look how many games. Dude, we've played so many more. We've played 14 games on the road and only nine on home ice. Road Warriors over here, man. I actually want to see how we stack up with these stats to the rest of the league right now. Goals for, top of the league. Goals against, definitely not going to be bottom. Holy hell. Look at Dallas. Goals against, uh, not quite top five. Six in the NHL. Power play, however, top of the league by far. Almost by 5%. Real good. Penalty kill. Top 10. Was that, eighth overall? Yeah. Not too bad, though. Not too shabby. All right, personal stats here. All righty, let's stick with forward. Shiri leading Ovi in second with 28. 29 points, 28. Larkin with 26. Verano with 25. Voloshenko with 23. Medvedov, surprisingly, only with 19 here. Playing on that top line. He's got 10 goals, though. Yeah, he's doing, he's doing solid in there. Only a plus two on, as well. The first line... Interesting. I like what Voloshenko's doing, though. Definitely like what he's doing. All right. Holtz has got 15 points on that third line. Six points on the power play. He, he should, he'll get good point totals. Martin, he's got six points on the power play, too. Doing actually pretty damn good there. But that's a pretty steep drop-off. Eh, not really that steep. But steeper than it has been in years past. Everyone's a plus, though, besides Foxa. Yeah, Coral Uke, man, just isn't isn't a point guy. And I don't think he shoots enough to be a pure goal scorer. Not really. I mean, yeah, he's only getting third line time, but he's getting some... No, I don't have him on the power play. I'm, like I said, I'm not going to give up on him yet. Because he's he's still good. He could, be, he could be an effective, you know, second liner. For sure. All right, defensively, Butsev's got 11 points. Seven for Niku, seven for Dermot. Plus 20 for Dermot, him and Niku. And Butsev's an even somehow. She has a plus 10. This is a mess. <laughs> plus minuses are an absolute mess back here. All right, goaltenders. Freddie Anderson is crushing it. Comrie. Yeah, I don't know. What overall is Freddie Anderson? Yeah, he's down to a starter, 86. Still got one more year after this on that contract. Who's our rookies this year? No rookies this year. Interesting. All right, you know what? I want to check out how uh, Rensfeld's doing. Not actually incredibly well, but he's a 77, so he, he'll be NHL ready next year. Guaranteed. Good. He'll be ready for backup next year. So the question is, do we hold on to Anderson 
and then wait for him that wait, wait for Rensville to take in the year after, or do we try to trade Anderson and give it to Comrie? I don't think that'll work. I don't think people are gonna want Anderson's contract at the draft. So maybe Comrie's the guy we trade, but we can't trade him unless it's at the deadline. So interesting. We're kind of in a bit of a pickle there. Maybe we do get Comrie back for a year or two. Waiting for Rensville to take over. Hmm. Tough call. I'm not too sure. Not too sure what to do. But one thing I do want to check out is can we potentially make a trade happen right now to improve that top four? Speaking of which, I needed to keep an eye on Flurry. How was he doing? I'll check the growth as well. How was Flurry doing? It's a minus one. 80 overall. I'd say with that value, I could put him into a trade. So let's check out, first off, let's look for Makar here. Is he, yeah, oh my god, 88. Three years left. What's he rated as? Top two. Yeah, it's kind of tough to grab him. Play him down. But this could really work for us. Ugh, that's a lot of value. We I, I honestly have to put Martin in there if we do that. And they don't want to give him up, and that makes sense. I mean, why would you? So, okay, let's let's go back a bit here. And this Boke Fist again. Why would they want to give him up? They want to give up Hamilton and stuff. That makes sense. Falk, yeah. Everyone who we kind of would really want is... McAvoy would be good, but again, he'll be rated as a top two guy. We'd need a guy almost rated as top four. I was hoping Makar would actually be a bit lower overall. Like 86, 87, and be almost capped out. But it doesn't look like that's the case. I'm going backwards here, but it's whatever. Carlson, too old, man. Vegas, what do you got? Nope. This Parse guy, already 84, on the left-hand side. Top four pairings. I'm liking him just because I want to replace, think I might want to replace Shanahan. <laughs> Shanahan's worrying me. We need actually a true top two lefty. And it's not looking like Shanahan's going to be that guy. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. Because I usually don't go backwards. That would be why. Yeah, neither of those are going to work out for us. Damn. Really, none of those, like, tweener-type guys here. Ah. I mean, there's Sanheim, but a lefty again. Damn, dude. There's Shea, but again, 29. Ah. Yeah, the righty defenseman. It's basically Makar. And that's about it. Yes, Dumba, but... My goodness, yeah. We are almost SOL here. Whoa, change, please. And still, I don't have all these guys scouted. How annoying. Wierenski would be really good as a top four guy, but we still need... Oh, he only doesn't fit in very well to our scheme here. Jones again, top two. Huh. Could The question is, could we keep Makar happy? <laughs> I don't know. Don't know if we can keep him happy. He shouldn't grow much more. We have plenty of lefties. This, I don't know. I was, I was thinking about pulling the trigger on a trade right here, but I'm not too sure. We might even do a couple. I don't like where Byram's growing either. Just sucks about Shanahan, man. It really does. 
I don't want to give him up on him yet. Like I want to see if he'll grow again by the next year. If he, like I said, if he can get up to a solid top four, like 85, 86, I'll be happy. But it's not there right now. Makar would love to grab him, obviously, but that puts us in a kind of a tricky situation, especially with some of the extensions. Yeah, we have a lot of money coming off, but next year would be trickier. Shanahan's still got a crap ton of value. Again, he could still grow. Like, he, it's not out of the question. He just hasn't been growing super, super well. But who we would probably be able to give an end to this is Martin. Although he is now an 81. It's hard to even want to give him up. But you got, in this case, we got to give something up. And with the way a lot of these guys are growing. What kind of player are you, Sundstrom? Wow, he's really good offensively. He's good everywhere. Man, I'd love this guy to be a second liner. He'd be super solid. I could call him up immediately and put him on the fourth line. He's listed as a third liner, but he'll be fine on the fourth line. If That's, of course, if we traded Martin in this deal, which is definite possibility. We could do this with putting in Martin, who's very solid, man. He really is. It's hard for me to want to give up these guys, but it's just what you got to do sometimes. They don't want Korolyuk. That's okay. Yeah, picking and choosing here. What's got to be done, though? Hmm, yeah, and Boots Lab's up to a 94 now. Beauty. Yeah, look at all these defensemen. Lefty, 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 lefty. Left. Oh, there's a righty, but he's 20, 57. <laughs> oh, my goodness, yeah. Really in rough shape here. So, yeah, we kind of desperately need that. And... Wow. I don't know. I don't know, man. Do we go for one of those lefties I was looking at, too? Like Borensky? Or what, who was it, actually? I think it was someone else. I forget who it was, but I don't know. Shanahan, it's a tough call. Trading for Makar, it'll have to most likely be Francis. I just don't think we have enough value in picks for, uh, for much else. We have our first from this year, but it's not going to have a ton of value. We do have uh, elite goalies we could chuck in. Stahlberg, I'd be willing to throw into here. Maybe even Horton. But uh, for sure, Stahlberg, we could throw in there. Nylander, maybe hold on to because he's the closest to NHL already, just in case Rensville doesn't work out. But we can honestly throw in these two, maybe, even to push that across. And then maybe be able to hold on to Martin if we did those two and a pick. Obviously, they don't want him. Why don't they want them? You guys are nuts. You have nothing in the way of goalies. I mean, we could do something along the lines of this. Add in a pick, maybe some other prospects. That way we could still hold on to Martin. Which would be really good. But let me know what you guys think about those, uh, those possibilities here. Alright, remember to leave that like. And I'll see you in the next one.